Well, our recent research on the rapidly urbanizing areas of Nepal, uh, including the Kathmandu Valley and the Terai regions, has shown that the urban youth are uh, particularly uh, at risk with some of the processes that are ongoing in terms of urbanization. Now, this not only includes the challenges around uh, finding um, uh, sustained uh, livelihood opportunities, uh, but also an increasing dependence on uh, largely substandard and informally provided uh, basic services, and in some areas, heightened levels of crime and violence. Uh, now, we know that these impacts, all, all of these have long-term impacts, which are further magnified by uh, an intergenerational transmission of poverty and vulnerability. There's also an associated localization uh, of poverty, where if you look at the some of the poorest uh, pockets in urban areas, uh, the outcomes in these uh, pockets tends to be far worse than uh, pockets of rural poverty. Um, and so, to break some of these cycles, um, we need to uh, prioritize and look at the needs uh, for urban children today. Uh, now, this involves tackling some key issues, including looking at malnutrition. Uh, now, we know that uh, malnutrition uh, in early childhood has drastic long-term impacts, and there's some research that's suggesting that there's incre an increasing urban angle to this, not just in terms of the levels of caloric intake in urban areas, but this is also related to issues of hygiene, issues of sanitation. Now on that last point, uh, if you look at the figures that describe the levels of open defecation in urban areas, they're staggeringly large um, and have a very significant impact on stunting uh, through the prevalence of disease. Uh, another s set of issues revolves around the uh, equitable, accessible and sustainable provision of services like drinking water, but also housing, increasingly uh, schooling, which is uh, safe, which is easy to access for children. Another set of issues revolves around tackling crime and safety. Now this uh, doesn't simply involve uh, the policing of the known crime hotspots in urban areas. Far from it. This also includes things like looking at road and traffic safety. Uh, we know that uh, road injuries are one of the most commonly reported injuries amongst children on their way to school, on their way to the playground, on their way to, to work uh, for, for working children. Um, also, uh, this involves prioritizing children's safety concerns during efforts at uh, slum clearance or slum upgrading. Um, then lastly, this uh, involves looking at issues which uh, tries to make uh, urban governance systems themselves responsive to children's needs. Now, we know that um, Governance, urban governance structures are constantly inundated with uh, a large set of competing demands on a very small pool of resources. Um, and one of the findings from the IDS and UNICEF ROSA conference on urbanization was that using a, a child-focused lens uh, to look at uh, issues of prioritization within urban governance structures can lead to very tangible roadmaps for urban leaders to grow their city around.